that uh, Maya was overruled by Kim Long Ark. That's absolutely not true. The holding of, of Kim Long Ark is right up here, and it's very limited. There's lots of caveats, there's lots of conditions, but the point is that the minor court, excuse me, the Kim Long Ark court was determining what the minor court had left behind. The minor court had said, why don't we get to what a citizen is under the court of commandment? Because we don't have to, because she's a natural born citizen. The Kim Long Ark court had that case because they had Kim Long Ark whose parents weren't citizens when he was born, but he was born here because he's a citizen. They answered that question, and that's all they answered. Everything else that they answered, everything else that came in, anything that could possibly be construed to change the holding of minor, the definition of natural born citizen and minor, was dicta. And is therefore not binding, and certainly under the uh, rules of construction, cannot overrule an earlier holding. Dicta certainly cannot overrule, overrule holding. So the point here is these cases don't conflict. They might look like they can put if you read them, but if you look at the holding of Kim Walmart and the holding of uh, Minor, they don't conflict. And when they don't when they clearly don't conflict, they certainly don't overrule each other. Um, if anyone was to argue that the minor definition of natural born citizen is unclear as to whether or not it's required to have one parent or both parents, I would uh, I would like it's stated for the record that the minor, uh, minor court's definition of natural born citizen uses the term parents. Parent is the singular. If the court wanted to use parent, it could have used parent. If the court meant mother, it could have used mother. If it meant father, it could have used father. It used the term parents, and that has to be given again a rule of construction. It's plain meaning. Plain meaning here, both parents. So that argument doesn't apply. Um, In closing, this case is about the Constitution. Holding public office is not about the individual. It's about service to the public. Anyone who's run for public office ought to know that. And that means that even if an individual has an unfortunate situation where they can't rise to the level that they want to, politics is not a career, a typical career field, where we want the person to rise as far as they can. Politics is about service to the public, and that should be kept in mind. And my final comment, excuse me, uh, let, me let me make a point for the record. We've shown, I believe, that uh, uh, Barack Obama's father was not a citizen of the United States ever, certainly during the time period when Barack Obama was born. Uh, I don't think that's ever been disputed by uh, the defendant himself. And that means that he is not constitutionally qualified to hold office. It's not a statement about his ability, it's a statement about his constitutional qualifications. Finally, uh, the man, the, the defendant, was ordered to be here today. He's not here. His attorneys are even boycotting this, this hearing. And I want it stated on the record that that shows a not just a contempt for this court, but a contempt for the judicial branch. And I'm not interested in this commentary on that. What you done in your argument? Yes, sir. Thank you very much. Thanks, <laughs> 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 <laughs>